guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the M2M MQ03-LTE Dual Path Communicator. And this is how you're going to get it wired to the DSC PC1616, 1832, or 1864 panels. Very easy to do. It's going to be six total connections. I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you my panel here first. This is completely powered down. There's no battery. I've unplugged it from the wall, so there is no power currently to this panel. This is how your panel needs to be as well. Make sure it's completely powered down before doing anything. Uh, now, the next thing I'm going to show you is on the communicator itself. I have went ahead and I've already pre-wired this. So you'll see four connections that I've made at the very top. Red is going to be going to plus, black to minus, green to DAT1, and white or yellow or whatever color it is that you have to DAT2. By the way, you will need two lengths of 18 to 22 gauge four or two conductor wire. This one is a four conductor strip and this one is a two. You're gonna need six connections back to the panel. So however you do it, it's up to you. But uh, this is how I was able to do it. My 22 gauge four conductor and my 22 gauge two conductor. So. As I said, I have red going to plus or positive, black going to minus or negative, green going to DAT1 or data one, and white going to DAT2 or data two. And then I have a red wire going to ring and a black wire going to tip. So once you've made those connections, we'll go ahead and put that over to the side here. You're gonna go ahead and get it wired into the panel itself. Our panel is powered down at this moment. So we're gonna go ahead and get this wired into the keypad bus, just like a keypad would. So, red wire, you're gonna wire into RED, red. There's gonna be wires in there already, that's fine. Make sure that you put this in there with it and just tighten it up. Okay, then you're gonna go black wire to BLK. Once you get that in there, tighten that up as well. Okay, once that's in there, you're gonna move on to the white or yellow wire, whichever it is in your strand. And that's gonna to go to YEL. All right, and then you're gonna take the green wire and that's gonna to go to GRN, just like so. Tighten it up. Okay, once you have those connections in place, we're going to move on to our phone terminal, which is this strip of two conductor. You're going to go all the way to the far right. There's going to be ring, tip, R1, and T1, these four terminals. You need to go ahead and make sure there are no wires in those terminals at this point. This will be the only thing wiring into those four spots. So the black wire we are going to put into tip. It's also labeled B on the strip there. So tip B. And then we're going to take the red wire and that is going to go to ring A. Once you do that, tighten it in place. Okay. At this moment, it is wired into the panel. You are almost ready to go. What we need to do next is we need to get the antenna attached. As you can see, the antenna just screws on very easily. And then you can put the antenna on the side of the box or the top of the box. It magnetizes. All right. And the last thing you have to do here is get your internet connected. Here's my ethernet connection and here is where the ethernet gets connected. So we're just gonna go ahead and snap that in. And at this moment, we are completely wired in and we are ready to get this thing activated. So power your system on, give us a call. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.